Before we get started, if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let us explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast straight from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It is everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your hosts, Gabe, Dan, and Link. It's June. Or the end of June. It's the end of June. It's the month of Morgan Freeman. And you know what that, what? What, is oh, that? Wait, what does that already, mean? Was it his birthday? Did we miss his birthday? When was his birthday? I don't think we've missed, because I haven't heard anything about Morgan Freeman's birthday. Did we miss it? Let's see. Did we miss his birthday? <laughs> today his birthday today? It was June first. Oh, his birthday no, was June first. No, you're 1st. lying. I'm sorry, Morgan Freeman. We did not celebrate your birthday the way it should have been you're celebrated. Lying. Bro, Morgan Freeman is 85 years old. He looks like he's 60. I man. know. Oh, you know what they say. I can't believe we missed it. Dang. I think we should scrap this episode and just talk about Morgan Freeman. What? What, <laughs> what has Morgan Freeman? Freeman? <laughs> All right, he what? can't even say his name. What Next. has Morgan Freeman meant to you? Morgan Freeman is... It's like a father. I'm going to say grandfather for me. Yeah, I, I could like, He's like a brother. He's like that guy that promotes financial wisdom in the Visa commercials, right? He's Samuel Jackson? No, he's Capital One, I think. Mm. What's in your wallet? Not much. Same. <laughs> um no morgan freeman does like the olympic visa commercials and stuff oh, okay like that. yeah yeah so you you but you but i think that's some of his best work oh so you associate morgan freeman's with uh financial yeah that and god that and god yeah he reminds me of my and grandpa. prison he reminds me of my grandpa i don't know why he reminds you of your grandpa okay yeah. unpack that as george <laughs> would say my grandpa is also black afro-columbian okay and I feel like they both have similar demeanor. A similar demeanor. Yeah. Okay. Do they have a similar voice? I don't really remember my grandpa's voice. He died when I was eight. Um, but yeah, I see Morgan Freeman. He reminds me of my grandpa. But then Obama also reminds me of my grandpa. So <laughs> I don't know. M- maybe my scale is off. <laughs> nah. Can't wait for Morgan Freeman what to pay did you Obama. Just say? What? I missed that whole story. What happened? I forgot. Oh, I was talking about how my grandpa reminds me of, <laughs> of Obama. Of, yeah, my grandpa also reminds me of Obama, like physically. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> wait, wait, so it's physically for Obama, but not for Morgan? No, Freeman, yeah, my, cause my grandpa Freeman, didn't have. Like, I mean, my grandpa could grow an afro, but he never had it shaped up like the way Obama. I mean, uh, Morgan Freeman does. <laughs> he kind of has like whatever Obama has, like a tape. <laughs> What were we talking? Oh, yeah. Morgan Freeman month. Morgan Freeman month. Um, so to kick off Morgan Freeman month, F- Morgan Freeman month. Sorry, it's late and I've had a long day. All right, let's it's go. a tongue twister. I got a question for you. What's up? Which, if we could recast any MCU character, if Morgan Freeman can recast any MCU character, who do who would you want it to be? The Watcher for the. Is that oh, name? that's actually the not Watcher? a bad one. I can see it. Yeah, that was a real answer. Mm. I don't know why I picked the real answer. That's a good one, yeah. Mind, though. I think he can do uh, Nick Fury. I think you I think you pull up Black Widow, to be honest. You're just associating. <laughs> I don't know who you're laughing at here. Everything. Um, <laughs> everywhere, all at once. Um, who do I think Nick Fury could play in Nick Fury? Morgan Freeman. Who do I think Morgan Freeman <laughs> can play? Bro, drink that Celsius. I gotta do it. <laughs> drink hold that Celsius. I hold it for you. Right. Commercial break. Get that. This episode is brought to you by Celsius. Morgan Freeman. My child. I'm trying to do a Morgan Freeman voice. <laughs> Yo, I got goosebumps. 
man, now I want a Celsius. You want now I this? also want a Celsius. No, Celsius. man, you know I can't have Celsius at this hour. Who cares? Around. You're on summer vacation, <laughs> bro. Man, but I'm not. I got to be productive. I can't be. I never realized how much is in a can of wow. Celsius. It's a, a lot. lot. It's deceiving. Okay, these cats are just going crazy now. George has two cats that I, you know, George is gone. I've been <laughs> Speaking of George, when is, when is he coming back? I don't know, man. Kind of hope he's all right. I, I saw pictures of him in Alaska. They're in Alaska, yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't tell him oh, wait. where he is. No. Anyways, they were in a place that was very cold and they were- They're um, in Russia. They were like sledding. They're in Russia. Sledding, right? Kamchatka. Like, who let the dogs out? <laughs> woo, 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 woo. They were literally, like, because they're making a sequel to that movie and George and his family, they're, they're going to take the role of a- Cuba, whatever his name, Junior. Cuba Gooding Junior. Good, Gooding. I was gonna say Gin, <laughs> but I'm like that doesn't sound right. Gin Junior. <laughs> That's a football player. Kenny Gin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not Teddy. Teddy. Teddy Gin Junior. Yeah. Cuba Gin Junior. Cuba Gin Junior. <laughs> um, yeah. So the sequel to Dogs. Uh, what is it called? Dogs. What what are the, the, dogs? The, no, 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 the movie I was talking about. Cats and Dogs. Who let the dogs out? No. Who let the dogs out? What's the um, name of that movie? What is the name of that movie? The Dalmatian movie? No. No. <laughs> What's she talking about? The sledding movie. The sledding movie. Remember? Oh. It's, based on, it's based on like a book, right? Are you talking about uh, Cool Runnings? Is about the Jamaican bobsled team. But wait, is, <laughs> is that where they where is, is that where they put the who let the dogs out? No. No. no I hope no. not. What is the name of that movie? Let's Google it. Ready? Dog. Sled. Movie. Of Cuba. With Cuba. With <laughs> Cuba. Hey, Cuba I love that when you were typing that it said with black guy. <laughs> it's suggested black. Snow dogs. Snow dogs. There we okay, go. Okay, now I do dog. remember that. No, 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 no. Now type it with Snow Dogs. I remember wait, wait, that. no, no, no. no. And they type... talk, right? The yeah, dogs yeah, yeah. talk. Yeah. Well, they don't really talk, but they talk. Like they talk like in dream sequences. Now okay, pause it really now go back uh-huh. and type with black guy to see what comes out. With same black same guy. Movie, no? Dog said movie with black guy. Snow, Snow dogs. Snow dogs. Okay. <laughs> Not as official, but okay. Imagine They're making a sequel to this? Yeah. George is playing. Oh. Oh, it's a it, oh. So they're not actually oh. Yeah, it's that's a, what, a legacy sequel. It's a legacy sequel. Legacy yeah. sequel. Legacy money, baby. It takes place twenty years later. And George is a new no dog he's part of the dogs now now george is out there um he got that dog in him george is actually on location um, get your mom she a dog <laughs> <laughs> he's currently promoting um one of our new ventures as a as oh. an entity what what do we he's as a service what are we he's promoting our patreon to the to the people of alaska Yes. Russia, 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 Russia. Russia yeah. yeah, platform. It's yeah. a platform. Yeah, I guess platform. Is it a service? What are we? I mean, like wait. on Instagram, my what are my we? profile, my Instagram profile is I'm, a grocery store. So what are we as searching for MacGuffin? I think we're just podcast. Are, is that what are, it is? I think we're therapy. Therapy. Yeah, I like that. Ah, I like that. That's actually pretty good. I think we provide therapy for people. Yeah, it is a therapy session for me. A little escape. Yeah. I like that. And that's what George is providing over there in Russia. Therapy. In therapy. Ru- yeah, therapy. For the people that needed, for their president, or whatever he is <laughs> over there. You're the grand inquisitor. And- I, don't know what, I don't know what Putin is over there. The Sith Lord. The grand inquisitor. <laughs> he's a Sith Lord. That's what it is. Putin is a Sith Lord. Um, But yeah, he's... He's out there promoting our store because yeah, our merch. We store apparently as well. have merch. That's now. right. We have a merch store. Link in the bio, because I don't know the link to it. What's the link? That's crazy, guys. We have merch. We have merch. I never thought we that, have t-shirts. I didn't think that would happen. We have mugs. We have mugs. I I got a mug. I need to buy a mug. Need a, it's a, I need to buy a t-shirt. We got hoodies. We got hats. I have stickers. Stickers are pretty cool. We got hats. stickers. If you want Shh, stickers, bitch. I will send you. Danny, Shh, oh, stickers. we have hats. There you go. We have hats. We have hats and we have ads like if, this one. If you want a sticker, I will send one to you. Just DM us on our Instagram and we'll send it to you. Honestly, it'll, I, you I don't will send have, it. You don't have to do anything. I will send it. I would. Us. I would use my money to send you a sticker. <laughs> and He's then we'll just charge you for shipping and uh, two months subscription to our Patreon. But 
Yeah, but it's a blessing. That's no big, no big deal. Yeah, man. But that's not. Like you know how much lot. money people spend on therapy? No, like it's like when you go to a restaurant and they automatically include the tip, exactly. like the service charge. It, yeah, we're yeah. It's just like that. Imagine ten dollars a month for therapy. Sure. You can't Weekly, beat that. Oh, weekly how much do you therapy. Pay? How much? How much does someone pay for therapy for a session? Sixty dollars, eighty dollars, maybe even a hundred. Exactly, and you're getting ten dollars a month. That's like two dollars oh, a session. A therapy subscription service? Are we? pioneers in this i think i think, I think we are have you heard about this before we're no, probably we're... the most affordable therapy session yeah out there yeah. and i think we're all encompassing like not everyone we provide multiple forms of therapy too exactly because you do physical therapy ah <laughs> for ten dollars mm-hmm. you can hear me vaguely uh mention what i'm doing in school george seems like he does a. Uh, you know philosophical therapy philosophical emotional therapy i can do some spiritual therapy true so we provide a lot of therapy options for only daniel daniel provides uh article audio technical therapy exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah some people that's, yeah, that's some people right. need asmr to go to sleep and that's what yeah. danny provides rain sounds i got you. rain sounds yeah you heard that celsius crack you heard the yeah. sizzle? ASMR. Yeah, that was all CGI. Yeah, that that was all Dan. That was all Dan. It that's yeah, that's that was, all Dan CGI. All sound design. That wasn't even real. Yep. I, I, I didn't even drink a Celsius. He created that sound. He, Gabe's actually still tired. I'm exhausted right now. Mm. Too much because physical. Because that Celsius was too much phys- you, You've been giving people too much physical therapy. That's true. That's true. I have a... I have only a, $2 a week. I have a practical coming up and I don't know what I'm going to do. What does that mean? It's like I'm putting into practice what I've learned in front of a grader. Can you do that on my shoulder? Is that what? So, I mean, I have practicals for different classes. So and the next one I have is soft tissue. So it's kind of like massage. I can't do this. Like this hurts right here. Yeah, you have a problem. We got to check out. Uh, is it my rotator cuff? I just found, found out about that word. It, it could be. I mean, rotator cuff is multiple muscles. It sounds, like a, by your humans, sounds like something so. a car would have, a rotator cuff. The cars do have. Um, it does sound like something. Yeah, right? yeah that's true. That's true. But they do different things. Yeah. Um. It's June. It's June. Well, now we start the episode. And now okay, we ready. start the All episode. Right. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your hosts. Oh, that's me, Gabe. What just what just happened? We're starting again. We're starting. I again. mean, not again. This is we're still in the episode. We're, still, we're, we're coming just, back. Yeah, we there was. We, it was a bit of a tangent. It was a tangent. We drove away. We you know with our car and the rotator cuff. But now we're back. Danny's <laughs> Danny's deadpan is wearing me. Like, yeah, he's just like, w- w- do I have to edit this out? <laughs> no, Danny. Because <laughs> I won't. The show doesn't stop. No, I know you won't. Show never so, stop. All right, don't stop. It's stop. June, and we we want to remind Dan. you that we have a store, a merch a merch store. <laughs> Dan. Dan has a merch and store. And link. No, you have to say it. And link. Say it. There you go. We have a merch store we want to remind you all. The link is in the bio. I would tell you what the link is, but I don't know what the link is. Um, But yes, we have. Every time every time you say the link is in the bio, I hear Bam at a bio. Mm. Needs help. <laughs> he really does. Pat Riley, get to it, bro. So yes, we have a merch yeah, T-shirts, kids, we're, we're podcast for the kids, searching for MacGuffin is for children. Yeah, honestly, I don't, right? We haven't. Yeah, I bought my niece one, so she's rocking it over there in Alaska. Guys, I'm not going to lie. These stickers are super cool. They really are. Like, I put them on my laptop, on my water bottle, and I get asked questions about it all the time. And you can get asked questions all the time. This is an icebreaker, right? Let's say you're out you're out there, you're in, you know, date in the dating world trying to yeah, that, yeah. trying to break the ice. Well, someone's going to see you're searching for MacGuffin sticker, your S4M podcast, they're going to be like, "What is that?" And you're going to be like, "These are my therapists." And then George then you gave Dan take them and out. Link. Exactly. And then you take them out and then you get happily married. And w- let me officiate your wedding. I am actually <laughs> able to officiate weddings. I would love to officiate your wedding. So if is George you get but, married by one of our hosts. So so can George, just but DM us. But I I I want to do it. I I've, I've been wanting to officiate a wedding my whole life. When I turned 18, I I did that What's it called? What did I do? Universal? U- Universal Life <laughs> Church thing. And I've been regist- I'm 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 I can marry people. I'm a doctor of love since 18. That's like 
11 years of He's experience. He's also the world's most eligible bachelor. That, that really too. Is. But you, it's not about won. my love. It's about your love that I want to unite with your partner. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, check out our birch store <laughs> and our Patreon. And you, yeah, and you might get married. And you might get married. And our Patreon, it's great. We have stuff there. And there's there's stuff there. <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of content in there. Honestly, I I what was it? What what story did I say on that? Oh, oh I talked about yeah, the Hopway Summer one. I talked oh, about the one yes. that got away, and that was away. that was a very interesting story. I would, no, really, 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 really. Have you DM'd her, Gabriel? Have I DM'd her? You you made us all text the girl that got away for us. By uh-huh. the way, she mine didn't respond. Did your response? Mine didn't respond either. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Which I guess is spoilers. But. Spoilers. But what about you, Gabe? Did you DM your girl? Your Powerie girl? No. Boy. And you know throughout Boy. the week. You know that throughout the week, you got multiple signs telling you to DM her. The signs were linked, telling me DM her. <laughs> it was Link holding up a sign. <laughs> He's the dude with the sign. I went to his class. I went to his school and like knocked on the classrooms he was in, and I had a sign that said DM her. Dude, I did that today. And it was boom it boom. was really tragic. You did? You did? I knocked. No, I knocked on a. <laughs> I knocked on a. I admit, I like. I'm pretty new to this school. Just barely a month in, and you know, knock on a. I, was, I met this, but whatever. I met this cute girl earlier this week. Mm. She was working at. It's not the library. It's like a lab. Did she have glasses? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I introduced myself and stuff like that. So I see her later on today. Did you tell her that you're a therapist? Um, my school is a therapy school, so. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. think. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, she's also probably one too. Could be. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I was walking down the hall and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say, hi. I'm pop in and say, hi, mm. I pop in mm. Bust the and I'm like, hi, so-and-so. And she just kind of like, the cute turned, name? like, she turns her head really quickly and just looks like a frightened cat. And she's like, Oh, like a deer. Hi. And I'm just like, why? What? I was like, and I did like a millisecond calculation. I was like, why is she reacting? And then I look at her computer screen and she's like in the middle of like a zoom meeting with a bunch of people mm. Mm. and i'm just like oh, oh you interrupted no, her oh this is terrible and then i yelled about it on the car ride all the way home oh, okay because when things like that happen i just cringe and i just just keeps going back there now you opened up how do you feel right now about opening up how do i feel right now about opening up mm-hmm. i feel a lot better you know i think this show is therapy, therapy. exactly Dang. look at what we do look here, what people. we do we make magic out. This is what we do, bro. Now that was I'm only gonna down. I'm only gonna yell half the car ride home. Exactly. That's, that's, not yeah. the four way. Oh, you're not sleeping over? Maybe. It's getting pretty late and yeah. I probably should sleep, so maybe. Sun's I don't know how you're gonna sleep with that after drinking that Celsius. <laughs> yeah, my leg is kicking right now. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, but yeah, maybe talk about stuff we're going to talk about today. Yes. So <laughs> 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 welcome back to an episode of Sushi <laughs> from my Coffee with your host, <laughs> Gabe Dan. and Link. And it is June is the last week of June and it is our monthly. And what we do is we usually recap the whole month <laughs> of June or part of the month of June. And this what better like w- the Tom Cruise movie where he dies and relives the same day. But I'm just here reliving the beginning of this episode. No, I. That Celsius was a. Uh, a godsend. Sure, sure. We'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> but yeah, June. It's June. What's, well, hap- what's happening this month? Well, this month of June started off with a banger. Morgan Freeman's birthday. Morgan yeah, I know. Freeman's June, birthday. June exactly. We spent 40 minutes talking about it. But oh after God. that, it started off with the summer of gaming. What does that mean? I haven't touched the <laughs> video game. <laughs> Dang, you got me with that question. <laughs> summer of gaming was like, have you ever heard of E3, the electronic? I, you know, I don't even know what E3 oh, is. Oh, that like Arts? really old, like, no, wait. that it's like really electronic. old, it's like a really old show they used to have like over the summer. It was only like a limited yeah. time thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like during the summer. Was it like? Oh, it was like a convention or something, right? Convention, yeah. Like during the summer. My dad used to tell me about it. It was like back in the day. You weren't there when Keanu Reeves popped up. Back in the 2010s. Yeah. That was just oh electronic long entertainment expo exactly right that's why it's E three E three three E's but because and of COVID, E looks like a three during, backwards in E three what happens yeah. is that um these video game companies wow. studios mm-hmm. come in and they promote their stuff right yeah but because of COVID we haven't had an E three so Jeez. different with the companies like the, especially the big ones like Nintendo Sony and Xbox what they're doing is that they're having their own little streaming uh, yeah i don't know what it got everyone's just like i can do this myself yeah presentation exactly right and there's also a lot of indie companies doing their own presentation so we started off the summer with that june with that with all these presentations do you remember any of them danny we took notes <laughs> Dude, I, I cannot tell you I, I where are your notes this, oh my notes street. oh i have my notes yeah. let me go i'll be back Oh, the Street Fighter assure, game looked really good. I assure you, those notes are useless. We got 20 minutes in, <laughs> and we, he put them down, and we were like, you know remember what? remember there was a cat game that got my attention. Oh, he's, straight. He's literally going to get the notes. <laughs> so, Dan, any, uh, oh, he physically wrote them. What a renaissance, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he, he, was, he was serious when he said I, I wrote them down. That's nice. Wait, is this like what they showed? Like Xbox had like Starfield and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's that game looks awesome. I saw nothing else though. Exactly. So here are my notes, guys. Danny, Dan, and I only watched. Uh, <laughs> no context. The, so- the Sony one. No context. I'll read it out loud. Ready? Okay. All right. Summer of gaming is <laughs> scratched <laughs> out for some reason. Well. All right. <laughs> Anger. Sony. Rage. Disappointment. State of play. That's what it was called, Sony State of Play. Okay, we got Capcom, Resident Evil 4 Remake. They're remaking the game? Yeah, this is the, the whole Sony yeah. thing could be summarized with zombies. Like, why do people like zombie video games? Then you have, like, a shift tab here going on. Graphics look great. March 24th, <laughs> 2023. That's when it apparently it's coming out. Bam. Next, we got Re-Engine. What, what is that? VR2? I don't oh, know. Uh, Resident Evil. Has oh, yeah, Resident Evil engine. engine. Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Evil has an engine, right? Yeah. Wait, yeah. That, that's, they now have a VR game, right? Yeah, they do. That yeah. sounds terrifying. Yeah. I have you know. ever played one of those scary VR games? I don't play scary games, period. Yeah, I have. Okay, yeah, I played it with, with Dan. With I think Dan had the equipment that I played the scary VR game. Like, what was it, Five Nights at Freddy's or something like that? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Especially with headphones on? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Thank no. you. Um... Walking Dead stuff, VR stuff. Yeah, there's gonna be some Walking Dead VR stuff. Bro, I can just see picture people's like houses, like living rooms destroyed after this. Spider Man to PC. Yes. Wow, mods are gonna go mods crazy. Mods are going crazy. Exactly. I cannot wait to see the mods. Um, right this there. says Straw, Stray, Cat Game. Stray. Yeah. Oh, yes, that was a cat game that looked adorable. Stray. I don't know much about it, but you play as a cat. Okay. Next, we got too much zombie games. That's another note I took. There were a lot of zombie games. I'm not a zombie guy. I prefer vampires. Okay. Capcom Street Fighter Six. That looks pretty cool. Is that the only note we're getting on Street Fighter Six? Yeah, it's pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty um, cool. Final Fantasy 42. I think that's 15. <laughs> oh. Seven, seven. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I see. I see. High. Listen. Whoa. I see XVI. I think of the Super Bowl forty two WrestleMania thirty eight something like that. XVI is seventeen, right? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. That was close. And something. That right is right. the conclusion of Link's Sony State of Play notes. Yeah. The, I want you guys to know that that's like the first ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what. All we right, Dan. So, what were the standouts to you? In like, this, in everything. Yeah, yeah. What, whatever stood out to you during the summer of gaming events. Starfield stood out. Starfield. Oh, like, yeah. That's the thing I, I looked out. Like, I went out of my way to. And even my dad had messaged me about it. And I was like, huh. It looks so complicated. It looks so great. Yes. What? Complicated. Why complicated? I mean, all those games are complicated. Does Stray look complicated? No, str- no, no. All those, by, all those games, I mean Bethesda games. Oh, like Skyrim? Yeah. I feel like it's too much for me. I'd get overwhelmed. Does the word craft uh, overwhelm you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, okay. I'm not a crafter. Unless it's Animal Crossing. Hmm. Animal Crossing? Animal like Crossing is simple? System. Mm, it's 
feel like Animal Crossing. Abby. You have to like live a life there, That's no? True. You have to dedicate your whole life. Dan lost two years of his life in Animal Crossing this past two years That's ago. It's not even a lie. That's tragic. That's a true what else? Uh, what else stood out to you guys? That's that. That's it. About it. All right. So it. much for the summer of gaming. Mm. Over in two days. Can you think of anything else? The cat game, bro. <laughs> that cat game looked really cool. What about what about that? Um, a lot of, a lot, what about that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game? Oh yeah, that was game that looked cool. Yeah, it was there too. They is presented it, it. Is it out? Already? It's out already. It came out already. We haven't played it, but we know someone that bought it that will wants us to play with them. It's free. Who bought well, it? Well, it's on Game Pass. Who did that? Uh, our arch nemesis, Panda Man, is wants us to play with him, but we don't want to play with him because when we play video games with him, he gets really, really aggressive. <laughs> misogynistic oh my <laughs> sexist all oh, the raw wow. guys but he, 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 you get me and it doesn't uh, sound like a good person it does not sound like a good person do not want to play video games with him yeah panda man is just panda man's worse okay He's so Pan, panda man canceled the summer of gaming all right so you know who is is this person canceled yet um this person gallivanting throughout the entire the entirety of Hawaii, just doing whatever he wants, playing Sims in real life. Dude, how is this guy? We're talking about Ezra Miller, right? Uh, I was talking about George. Oh, I thought he was in Alaska or Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is Ezra Miller. Um, it seems that yeah, either e- been going either Dan sends it or I just go on Twitter and like, there's just something new going on with Ezra Miller. Yeah, I don't know what's. And it's the most, re- it's like the onion keeps tweeting these things out, but it's not the onion. It's you know, what, the, onion, you know yeah. the onion, right, yeah, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, every article seems like it's, it's from, from the onion. And I don't know if this is like a joke that everyone who writes these, these articles or just like their internet and just like, you know what, just make this the most ridiculous uh, headline ever. But the thing is, it's it factual. It gets worse. I don't know why Ezra Miller is not in jail at the moment. Like, didn't he like abduct somebody? Apparently, he's currently... And now he's, like, holding them... Missing? Are they hostile? They're missing they're with missing. two other people? Yeah, yeah, he, he's had them. He's hidden them in the Speed Force. So it's hard to get there. Only one man could save us now. The other guy Grant. that can get into the Speed Force. Grant. The CW guy. Mm. Grant Gustin. John no, Mulaney. but seriously, Ezra Miller, um, <laughs> I hope Ezra Miller gets the help that Ezra Miller needs. Um, And gives up those kids first. No, yeah, for sure. I hope that yeah, uh, gets I hope the situation gets resolved peacefully as possible, because that Did is see? that's some wild stuff. Yeah, man. he's going through something, and we're he, he's doing it right in front of our eyes, and I don't know how I'm just posting what, memes on Instagram. How, <laughs> I don't know how worse it can get, but we I hope everything's. Okay. I hope it doesn't yeah. get worse. Yeah, I hope it doesn't Warner get worse. Warner Bros. already announced that they are not going to be the Flash anymore. Oh, Ezra Miller's not going to be the Flash anymore? Yeah. Ezra I, Miller's I not going to be the Flash anymore. I, I guess that was a given. So. But what about his scenes in whatever, in the Flash movie? I think he's going to have a Flash. I think Ezra Miller is going to have a Flash movie. It's probably going to go straight to HBO Max, right? They're not going to put that in theaters. I think they will put it in theaters. Oof. I think they'll just. Will you watch that? I think they'll just take it out at the end. Will I watch it? Yeah, I'll watch it. Michael Keane's in yeah, it. Yeah, I have to watch it now. Oh, because it's Flashpoint, right? Yeah. Mm, you got me there, man. You they'll got change me it, there. They'll change it in two seconds. I do want Michael Keaton and Batman. But you know what I won't be watching in theaters? Which one? The T-Rex one. Mm. We had tickets for this. We did have tickets for it, and you guys canceled it. And, and then me, it dropped down to 35%. Me and my dumbness did not cancel my ticket, so I guess... I mean, I don't know how AMC I works. Mine either. I don't know how AMC works, but... I think they're mad at you now, Mr. AMC is curious. I think I don't know <laughs> like if it, I don't know if that counts like I bought a ticket and I watched that movie even though I didn't scan in. So like I guess on paper I watched that movie. I don't know how that works, but Mr. AMC is furious that you Mr. C. Mr. C. Yeah, he's furious that you you reserved <laughs> the spot, and didn't AMC. cancel it. So that was more money that could have gone to him. I could know would have been Name the same. On you. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, has anyone watched this movie? No. Jurassic Park. World. Jurassic Park World Dominion. Is it Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? Jurassic World. Mm. Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> Man, they have domination. Ex- they have expanded globally from a park to glo- to world. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you didn't, about, you right? didn't catch that in the first Capital, Jurassic World. <laughs> Capitalism. Yeah. Capitalism. Capitalism. This last movie is called Domination. <laughs> is it do- Dominion or Domination? Dominion. No, it's Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> Bro, these. Uh, you know what? I don't know much also, about also, Jurassic World, okay, so I would I, believe anything you say. No, it, it's Dominion. Oh, okay. The Minions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, now I want that movie. Jurassic World, mi- The Minions. Also, quick. Uh, that sounds fun. I want that. There was a there was a Despicable Me three movie, right? Yeah, wow. You guys know a while back. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys know the villain for that movie? Vec. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Vec. We all know the villain is Gru because he's a villain. Oh. Girls. I, I guess so. Girls. But anyways, <laughs> this is, my, a ra- this is like, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. This is a random side note, but my friend posted a picture of me and my. I guess Top Gun mustache. Mm. Um, oh, and, the Hispanic. Dude. And I don't even know how he got the picture, to be honest. It was a picture that was on my phone, and somehow he got it, and he doesn't even live anywhere near me. Oof. Um, and so he posted this picture of me without my consent mm. and started just started asking people, what is this? Who does, uh, who does this? What does this picture remind you of? I'm someone looking. i someone out of Bryant? What's the what's a cat's what's the character's name? Brat? Baltazar Brat. But anyways, someone like someone put Mandal- like someone put Pedro Pascal from the Mandalorian, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And someone put narcos and I was like, eh, uh, okay. mm. that's that's But distasteful. someone despicably put Brat, the villain from Despicable Me Three. I don't know who has a mullet. And a must. I'm okay. We'll post this. We'll post this picture on social. I'm yeah. assuming. Um, I don't see it. But your nose I, is smaller. I was just. I want. I kind of want to know who it was because I felt attacked. Like extremely, when I clearly look like Christian Bale at the end of The Dark Knight Rises in that in that picture. With the mustache. No, you just. I didn't, he just doesn't have look, a mustache. Look past the mustache. All oh, right? Okay. My bad. My bad. The, the flowing hair and the. I mean, it's hard to look text. past the mustache. It's like the main thing. Yeah, I just kind of get stuck on yeah. the mustache. I don't like even look, make eye contact like with mustache. you. I just make eye contact with the mustache. All right, so for $10 a month, you can get your therapist to just bash you. Maybe your therapist is telling you you should cut the mustache. <laughs> remove it. Yeah, well, I mean, the therapist is not going to bash you if you don't have a mustache. Yeah. So don't have facial hair. No, no, you should. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that. are anti-beards. I, I got you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You that know who else had a very beard. nice beard? Who? Jon Snow. Who is that? This was, a, this was a character, is a character, from uh, a, little, a little show called Game of Thrones. Mm, never heard of it. Yeah, it wasn't that successful. Um, <laughs> it flopped. Yeah, big flop. I've actually uh, never watched Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know. So, well, he's like supposed to be the main character, one of the main characters of this show. Of I this thought Amelia show. Clark was the main character. She's also one of the main characters of the show. How many main characters does the show have? That's confusing. Eight, seven, eight, seven, oh, six. I, are they all chasing the throne? Yes. Oh, it's a game. oh. Did I just tell you on the show, bro? Did I just figure the show out? Mm. So how does no? Way. Why is the show so terrible? Like the ending, terrible. Like does. Jon Snow not get the throne? So, Jon Snow basically, um, he turns into a dragon. Oh, okay. And. You can't have a seat. They, they, they didn't have a throne for this for a dragon butt, right? Is that why? Yeah, no, but uh, Amelia Clark basically domesticates the dragon and she's just kind of, he's just kind of like a pet. So. Oh, okay. So he kind of like evolved. He kind of became like Charizard. He was like Ash. Like if Ash became a Charizard. So Emilia Clark is Misty. Misty. So does Emilia Clark win the throne? Um, in a matter of speaking, yeah. Okay. How does this guy become a dragon? He's just he is a dragon. That's all I can say. Um, but anyways, there's there was news um that he is having his own spinoff show. Okay, we're excited. Announced. Um. Yeah. I mean, should I be excited? I have no idea. I mean, there's no books for this, right? <sighs> no, but this is but all off the but it is 
the author of the books is attached to this project, so... Is that a red flag, though, that there's no books? Because last time there wasn't a book for something. Yeah. You got a terrible ending. Well, because they went off. They didn't wait for the author at all. So, I mean, I would trust the author, even though the author is, like, not finishing the last book, which has been years. Um, he, But he takes really long. Yeah, he's just so stuck. He's stuck. He needs no, to get over it. Um, it's because of Elden Ring. But <laughs> it's because of Elden Ring. Is he playing Elden Ring? No, he... he no, he, he worked, wrote it. He worked, he, he worked on it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I love Elden Ring. Um, no, but I mean, I, I think it's interesting because you got Kid Harrington to come back and he's heavily attached to the project and he's kind of... Isn't know, he a writer? It. I saw something that yeah, he's an so, actual writer too. So it's interesting to me. I mean, this guy played this character. I mean, I don't know if... Is he going to be a dragon again? He will, never, he will never n- not be a dragon anymore. He will always be a dragon. Mm. But okay. maybe it'll be like... Um, can he like untransform? I think it'll be a sequel. Can to, he like? It's beca- gonna be like a sequel to Dragon Tales. Okay, so I wish, I wish with all my heart. You got it. Come on, come on. Expand the reach of the stars above. No, wait, that's Steve Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> how did I go? How did I do that? I don't know. That was impressive. I wish, Flowed I wish well. with all my heart. It's the land of dragons in the. Oh man. How does it go? How does it go? I wish I wish with all my heart. I wish I wish with, with all, all my heart, heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. The, there you go. And then get teleported to Dragon yes, Land. Yes, yes. So that's that, Game of Thrones. And they go, Jesse, James, meow. That's Team Rocket. Okay. Um, but I thought that was cool. Jon Snow's getting a spinoff. Nah, um, make, I'm sh- I mean, a lot of people, I'm assuming, are worried and like, why don't you just let this die? But we'll, we'll see. I wonder if this is going to affect him playing uh, that Marvel character. Uh, got his name. That guy, yeah. I don't know. Because ap- apparently that guy ends up be- replacing, ends up becoming the leader of the Avengers. So that's why I thought Jon Snow, I mean, Kit Harington was going to have a bigger role in Eternals and eventually have a bigger role in the MCU. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, speaking of the MCU, that's a good one. Mm. Lawless transition. Beautiful. That no one's gonna pick up on apparently. You're not gonna. I don't. I don't know where this is going. Is it no? Is no one picking up because no one watches the show? No, no one's picking up like the three of us. I mean, no one's gonna start talking about Miss Marvel. The show that no one's watching. The show that apparently nobody's Nobody watching. watching. Or old people aren't watching. What do you mean? No, nah, there's a very specific, specific demographic, demographic that is not watching this show, and I wonder who you can guess who it is. Um, it's a lot. It's a big number of those people. Yeah, you're a part of it. Um, Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> Panda Man's part of it. <laughs> um, I love that show. All right. Miss Marvel. What do you, have you, have you guys watched Miss Marvel? I've watched the first episode with you guys. At one time, we slept over all together. It was a beautiful moment. But other than that, I haven't caught up with the latest two episodes. I was going to watch it today, but I don't know what happened. You took a nap? Essentially, yeah. Hmm. I saw the second episode. I haven't seen I this wa- week's episode. Yeah. I had to choose between Obi Wan or Miss Marvel. So. And you chose Obi Wan. Chose Miss Marvel. I yeah, I chose Obi Wan, and well, no, now actually, Dan. You know what's funny, Miss Marvel. No, uh, well, I guess what day is it? What do you, what do you think about Miss Marvel? What do you think about Miss Marvel? It's it's June twenty third. Yesterday's episode was not great. Um, not great, a, but like the first yeah, two are great, great, right? In your, in your opinion, first three, right? Three, or was this episode three? That, that just was came episode out? three, yeah. Okay, yeah, the first two are fantastic. I love the first two, so I'm interested to see why you guys don't like, the, why you don't like the third one. You'll see. Okay. Not really sure with where they're taking the story. Hmm. Obviously, the show's not over yet. So, do you know what show is really... over? Obi Wan. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't watched it. Dan hasn't watched it, but Link has watched it, correct? I have watched it. Okay, so then it counts that Dan watched it. Uh, what do you think? I think you you said it best <laughs> earlier when we were planning. Uh, the show is mid. The I, show is mid. Wow, is that's mid. a hot take, isn't it? Well, I haven't watched the last episode. I don't. Really. I mean, I don't know if it's a hot take. Uh, you know what? Yes, I do think it's a hot take because p- the people I see online are loving the show and i don't know why um 
but yeah, I it has. I mean, like, it has some I'm good parts. Gonna, I, but it, I know, I know why. I'm not gonna sit here. And like, I, I know why, okay. but I feel like those parts like don't are so f- far in between. Yeah, it's, that it's too like little it's too. too late, yeah, bro. it's like okay, you're giving me these great moments, like, few moments that are great, but the rest of the show does not hold up. I cannot see myself ever rewatching this. Really? All the way through? No. I'll probably watch. I could see myself episode. watching YouTube edit cuts of certain scenes. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. This um, last episode, in my opinion, had one of the best uh, lightsaber scenes, and it was it, sick. It was amazing. But there was a part that I was like, all right, eh. but I think it was sick. I I, I highly, really enjoyed it. Um, I think this might be a hot take. I think it was better than the Mustafar fight. Between Obi Wan and Anakin, I definitely think it's more um, emotional. I mean, everyone says that. Oh, that that scene with Mustafar is so emotional. You have so and much I think hatred this, for that Mustas, Mustafar. I do. Fight. I really do have. I, I, I kind of. I, I mean, I know people a lot of. I like. I know a lot I of people like. Fight. There yeah. is nothing special about that fight. Everyone said, "Oh, there's so there's so much emotion, so much passion." You got that in this one, and you got more variety, different styles, a, a better you style of wrestling. Like I mean, of, like of wrestling, <laughs> a different style of uh, lightsaber fighting. <laughs> You just sound like a hater, Obi-Wan, man. Daniel Bryan. That Moose, of, I that mean, the Bryan Daniels fight of, is great, and you're in denial. No, I'm not. It's great. It's good. It's all right. It's mid, like the Obi-Wan. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, I, think that, I, I like that fight. That I, like, I like the Mustafar, Mustafar fight. Mustafar fight is good. Objectively, it's good. I like it. Objectively, <laughs> it's not good. Subjectively, it's good. To you. And a lot of people. Objectively, it's at least all right. I'll give it. Subjectively, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. You think, wait. Is it the worst lightsaber fight? Is you? it the worst? I mean, to, I mean, I think the worst one is Obi, uh, Vader versus uh, Obi-Wan in A New Hope. But Okay. That's not, that's not that's, is, that, is, that, is Mustafa right above that? Yeah, I think it's above that. No, no, no. But is it like the next in line Come above on, that, man. and then all the other uh, lightsaber fights? Is it like is it that low on your list of lightsaber fights? Are we including everything? Clone Wars, sequels, prequels. Sure, of what you can remember. Rebels. Yeah. The major fights. The major fights in what? Uh, like major I would ca- of what? like I would count Ahsoka and Maul. Yeah, I put that over. That fight is really good. That fight um, is amazing. I mean, is that might be one of the best fights the ever. Best. That, I think that might be the best. You know what fight is not better than Mus- the Mustafar one? What? Jin Jarden versus uh, <laughs> 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 versus John Favreau in I don't know the character's name. Uh, Pause Vizsla. Pause. Yeah, in in season two. He's learning, man. He's two, learning. Uh, He's learning. All right. He's got training wheels learning, on. Okay. Okay. It's really heavy. <laughs> Jeez, don't be so hard on him. All right, so Obi Wan ended, and Luke versus those robots was I'm, amazing. I'm assuming that is. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah, we're gonna talk about that, right? We're gonna we're gonna talk about Obi Wan. Yes, we have it more in depth once. Uh, I believe next week we'll be talking about Obi Wan once George comes back. We'll all from next the week. Return of the Jedi. Sweet. Yeah, trying trying to figure Just out time travel here. Putting putting that out there yeah. into the universe. We're speaking into existence. All right. So that's so Obi Wan's over. Um, something else ended this week. A couple of things ended. A lot of things ended this that's month. That's so sad. Take it away, Link. Oh, Barry ended <laughs> season. <laughs> you have the season three of Barry ended this month. That was a sad uh, one. I gotta finish it. The show took a, a little bit darker turn, and I'm starting to question: Is this show still a comedy? Did it end dark? Yeah. Oh no. I don't think the show is a comedy anymore. There's like one, because even in my opinion, like the 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 comedic humor. I mean, the humor in the show came from No Whole Hank. He's not even that funny this season. Is he like all real? They're just trying yeah, to make a little bit more real. He was funny at the beginning when he's doing a little recap of the show of of, of what's going on, which I thought was hilarious. It's Barry, it's me, Barry. No Whole Hank. Hank, Hank. <laughs> There's this one character that is funny. Um, but that's it. Like he's a very minor character. But the show took a lot, a very dark turn. Man, I love that show. The first, no, no, seasons. I love it. It's, it's a, it's a good dark turn. I'm enjoying it. It's great character development. I'm impressed by. Like I said. I mean, the to me, the tone, the tone felt different from the start. I mean, I, I'm assuming it got even. Yeah. But if you haven't watched Barry season three or 
you know, the previous two seasons, I re- we recommended as one Honestly, of the best Honestly, just shows. get an HBO Max subscription. That's like yeah. the, probably the best Can you tell how many right things we recommend from, from HBO, HBO Max? Max? Oh my it's goodness. actually kind of ridiculous. I love HBO Max. Um, I even think this show might win Best Comedy. It's either t- between this or Atlanta. Be- those are your options for best comedy for uh, I mean, Emmys. I think Emmys, sh- I Emmys think or Golden Globes. Anything else? I mean, I think those shows are quality, but it's like, I mean, I, did you did you finish Atlanta? I think I'm like one episode behind or two. Is it over? <sighs> it uh, Atlanta yeah, over. also took like a, a more serious turn. That's as well. what I mean. It's it like, really man, did. the that's state a, is it like that's the state of comedy but right that's now. That's the state like, of comedy now, where it's it's not it's not laugh out loud. It's a little bit more serious or adding political issues, social issues, and there it's. You're seeing the humor behind it, but it's not laugh out loud like how it used to. Be. Yeah, I mean, like at least you're at supposed Atlanta's... to figure out the hu- like you're supposed to figure out the humor in in the yeah. whole situation. Yeah, making you work Atlanta for it. still Just in a bad gave day. me at least one really good laugh. No, Atlanta gave me some a few good laughs. <laughs> When Donald Glover is looking for the phone, the <laughs> oh yeah, the cancer he kid, it away. <laughs> <laughs> that one and I will do anything for the paper boy. <laughs> uh, Chet Hanks gave me a good laugh in. <laughs> in he's in it. He's in it, and I didn't know who Chet Hanks oh, sounds, was at that sounds all. Awesome. So I thought, oh, this white guy pretending to be like a, a Trini, Trinidadian, 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 bro. <laughs> Apparently, this is who nice. he actually is. So I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. That part blew my mind. That part, yeah. Tom Hanks. All right. That's interesting what you did there. What else? What else ended? A show ended. Uh, <laughs> ended? I'm not sure. Um, Peaky Blinders ended this year, this month. Well, it ended like in April, but whenever it came out in the BBC. Yeah. But it was released this past month in... Netflix and it was the ending of season six was the ending of the show. How did you feel about it? Oh, I, I mean, bro, Peaky Blinders is so good. They cap, they know they they know how to reel you in. However, the show is set up for a movie, mm. so that's why I'm like it ended, but the story still continues. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm excited. I, I love what they did with uh, forgot her name, Polly, the actress. She died. But I love how they integrated her in this season. Um, yeah, it's 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 it was it's a good watch. I, I gotta agree. watch. I love Peaky Blinders, and I started it, but I yeah, cannot I don't know watch anything. Mm. But actually, one thing I did watch so far, as much as I can, as much as I could, was Stranger Things. Yes, that's continuing in July, but just a couple weeks, couple couple more weeks, and we get to finish Stranger Things this season. I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it's great. I think you should watch it. It's I keep fantastic. I'm saying that every episode we're in. I haven't watched it. It's fantastic. I have to. Maybe I'll do it tonight. It's okay. Progress is a slow march. Yes. But yeah, I want to watch it. It was great. Dan, what'd you think about it? You want me to give it a rating? Um, sure. I'm interested, well, actually, well, I'm interested right, in hearing this. That. No, no, no. Give me your, your first half rating, My even rating though you're for, for volume one? There's seven, seven first episodes out of nine episodes. <laughs> yeah. What, I guess as of right now, it'll be like a nine. It's a nine right oh, now wow, for Dan. Pretty good, it's a man. nine for Dan. What is it for you? I mean, honestly, it's the best season since season one. I'd say it's a, I'd say it's an 8.6. <laughs> you know how I feel about point six. <laughs> No, I'm what kidding. Do you, what, do you have, um, what do you have against point six? <laughs> no, because Dan kept. That's not a real scale. Dan man. kept. You can't just use point six and point seven. How's that not a real scale? What? Yes, you can. Oh, it was you like, that was using that. Yeah, it makes total sense. Nah, okay, I take it back. Like I retract my statement. Two, I give it a nine. It's like a one. I'm rounding. I'm ra- whole numbers. I'm rounding. If you just decide to use any. You can I use point can't, five. Actually, you, I want. I want to hear what the people think about this. We should put this up as a poll. Listen, some voting. You have to, there has to be, you can't just do either like 8.6 or 8.7 or 8.8 or 8.8. Because then your scale is 1 to 100. You really trust yourself to pick a number between 1 to 100 accurately? Can you give me the difference between an 8.8 and an 8.7? The viewers can't see this, but Dan explaining this with his whole heart and passion and the, there's a nerve <laughs> popping out of his a, it's forehead. It's just, it, re- it really is a pet peeve. A vein, sorry. What do you think, Link? I think you can do it. Why? It makes sense, you know? I don't. So tell me, what is an 8.8? That was a good point. That was a very good what point. What is an 8.8? 8? 
Right. What is an 8.7? What What would bring a show or a movie from an 8.7 to an 8.8 what? that you can r- reliably pay attention to? Uh, I One mean, more joke. I mean, a little yeah, smaller for that. I think it'd be smaller details. You get me throughout the whole show. Music could be one of the reasons why something goes That's up. That's not a point five. That's a whole point one. Music can be so yeah. it's meaningless. No, because me, music it can, so honest. That's one percent. Yeah, music can do that for a whole for a whole season. A music can do that. One percent. Yeah, one percent. Just one percent. It can up. could also make it go up two percent. <laughs> <laughs> Three, you get me? It could do that. It could also make it go down. Interesting. M- music. Uh, lighting. <laughs> editing. <laughs> editing. No, editing is actually a good one. Editing. No, that's like a point five thing. Nah, you can... You know, all, when it comes to that, I believe it's more... That's when it gets subjective, like... The smaller things to me, that bother when, you when, bothers when you. When it's from one to one hundred, you're just kind of throwing a dart between two numbers. If you give me an eight point six, I'm gonna assume it's a nine. Okay, I'll I'll like I'll round it up for you. But that to me, an eight point six is like, if it's not based on averages from a large group of people, that means nothing. What do you give the Batman? What I give the Batman? Yeah. I see here. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. See, this is perfect. Okay. Sorry, Dan. This is a tough one. He lost it. Okay. This is a tough one. You win, Dan. No, no, this is a tough one. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out which is better. I don't know. Between the Dark Knight and the Batman, right? Mm-hmm. Whichever one is better is a 9.8. <clears throat> and the other one's oh a 9.6. Goodness. The other one is a 9.6. Oh How? What? Why? You, by point two? What is the two? What is the point what is two? The two? That's what I'm trying to. You could. That's you what could I'm trying to figure out. No, no, no. Eyes. You're trying to figure it out. But no, no, why no. is it even that in the first place? Link, you could look at me in the eyes and be like, "They're both nine point five, but I prefer blank," and that's acceptable to me. I could put them in nine point five, but if I have to like put give them a specific number, why is it point two? Why is it point two? And you don't even know which one is in that spot. So I don't why? Even know. But why? <laughs> Something in me. It gets, Something in it's you. It's in my gut. Okay, it's intuitive. Something in you chose no, 98 that and 96. Answer. Yeah. Why? Which one's which? I don't know, bro. That's what I'm still trying to figure out. I think that's going to be the... Why wasn't it 97? The, Why wasn't it 95, 93? No, because they're not that low. Why are you speaking I, I, of this? That's, that mean? distance is so far. 93? A 9.3 and a 9.6? 9. 9. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not that far. That's a colossal difference to you. One's a uh, one's a A minus. The other one's an A plus. No, you guys keep pulling in the A, the. Oh my, you guys that grading skill in, doesn't make grading. sense. <laughs> what do you mean? And it, it just that's how I see it. You man. can't just apply school grading to movies. I mean, eh, I think you can. I think you can. I think you that, can. Yeah, but I don't know why you can't. I just I don't think it. it it's the same. I, I just don't see it as the same. I don't think it applies the same way. Okay. I give Obi Wan a seven, a, a, <laughs> a six point four. You went seven, so in my a, mind, you said seven. A six point four. Where it. do you? I'm round. Yeah, you you, 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 would, you would round down, but you said you started with seven, so I wasn't sure where That's to go on that one. And I, you know seven's what? high to be honest for, from you. A seventy is like a C. Sure. Mm. I you know I prefer the five star scale. You prefer a five uh, star scale. Yeah. So so you're but getting then, but so then but then you go up by you so go up you by, can give a nine point eight but you prefer a five star. scale? I prefer the, yeah I prefer the five why star. why because I feel like you're able to uh it's you the increments I think are better you. Your, the increments are point. So you couldn't point, increment by point three. The increments are point two. But you can by a whole twenty percent. The increments are by quarters. Okay. So yeah. What is the that Batman in stars? Four point seven five. <laughs> Four point seven five <laughs> yeah, stars. So, so, I can't do so, yeah, out of so, five. Yeah. So I can't do out this. of five stars is four stars and three fourths. Don't do this to me. 
But that's because I'm using a scale that I that I'm used to. What is the it, Dark Knight out of five stars? Somewhere around there. <laughs> also, you gave it a four point seven. Four point seven five. Yeah. You talking about the Dark Knight? You he's saying bro, what? Somewhere. Why? Right. So, bro. That's a scale. Why I'm do you? Using. Why are you doing this to me? I don't know why you're being so neurotic, neurotic about this. Does it, it, you can Just go? You can perfectly go to sleep. Can't. It's not good. It's not gonna. gonna What's a more relatable topic that people <laughs> like to listen about? I feel like you you could perfectly go to sleep. <laughs> Nothing's gonna no, happen. I can't. You went th- all the way down to four point seven five out of five stars <laughs> out of five. So that's good. It's not four point. It's I do it. I I I do it in in uh. How do you call it in fractions? Guys, you could. It's a scale that I'm for ten dollars a month. You could subscribe and listen to conversations like this in ex- in a, in more detail. I so the reason why I do five stars is because I'm used to this uh, wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer. He has a five star scale for for his ratings of 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 wrestling matches. Now sometimes matches are so good that they get more than five stars. I think the highest I've personally seen is a seven, which I thought was insane. Because I didn't think you can break the scale that much, but I tend I prefer what? The- Wait, out of five stars, he gave something a seven. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Can I be honest? You're gonna tell me you like that? No, I'm gonna tell you that scale is kind of meaningless to me. Yeah, because you're not a you're not a wrestling aficionado. You get me? You're not like yeah. But if you're like oh from one to five and you give it a seven, like what does that mean? Bro, it means that magic. Nah, it's I would say, listen, I would say. It's 40% better. I don't even know why, but I would accept a six. No, they have six stars as well. Like I'm saying, like they had like. But, but you're. <laughs> but it's but, so good. It's a but seven. But your yeah. stand, you're like your maximum is a five star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that used to be the max. Like that used to be the maximum, right? And very few matches were five stars, right? And then out of nowhere, Kenny Omega comes. And he breaks that scale. He makes a match of five something. Then he has another match with that same person. He makes it a six. And then another match, a seven. How does that scale work? I don't know, but it makes sense. I can see it. Because those <laughs> that matches, scale just doesn't work. <laughs> but those are very rare. Like the match, it has to be flawless. I would assume so. You go you went past <laughs> flawless. Yeah. You went past perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's forty percent past perfect. That's a 140. Man, this Dang. this physics class you took is really helping you out with all your math. Percent. Wow. I hate, I hate math. I need you to do you my... You keep saying this, but, but you are like, yeah, you're pretty freaking good at it. Yeah, apparently you're freaking Matt Someone's Damon and go Goodwill Hunting. And, and find a mistake. Not me. I'm not either. Hmm. But yeah, man. What else happened in June? <laughs> What did happen in June? Is there anything else? I mean, Lightyear hasn't been doing well in the box office. They, uh, people aren't watching it. It has mixed reviews. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's not great. Christians are, are, are you know, are, are, what's the word I'm trying to use here? People uh, named Christian? No, the religion. It's kind of a weird thing. Like, people named Christian people named Christians don't, Christians like, are don't odd, like the movie. Like, I don't know why they, you know, they're against the movie. Um... Yeah, so I feel like I got. We haven't watched it, so I can't give you uh, an accurate. I can't tell you what it like. My rating for it, <laughs> how many stars I'd give it. I'm just gonna assume <laughs> it'll be a point six or a point four. It won't be a point five though. It, nah, it'll be a. It's a star. It's a star system. It'll be a seven out of five. Nah, it'll be on a negative scale. So <laughs> it'll be a negative two out of five. I don't know, man. I, I don't. Can't wait. I don't think it can be is is bad. It doesn't seem bad to me. No, it because seems it's Pixar. Right. It's Pixar. It yeah. If anything, it's it's. it's I was really it's, excited to see this movie, I'm really and excited. I haven't seen it for some reason. And it's not because of any of the backlash that we haven't seen. It's that we've been busy. It's so busy. June has been so busy, and yet I do not know what else to talk about. Well, yeah. I've been busy with school, so. So light year. We we want to watch it. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be great, but I don't know. Actually, one thing about Jurassic World Dominion, I'm upset that it took all the Dolby theaters because I would just like mm. to rather watch Top Gun Top and Gun. Dolby or even IMAX. 
which is weird because I would literally go out of my way to go watch Top Gun, but for some reason I'm not in a rush to watch all these movies that are out. That is a good point. I can see. I I agree with that. I don't know why they did that. Do you guys miss George, by the way? I kind of miss him. I do. I feel like he would have stopped that argument a lot sooner. I think he would have agreed with me on the five stars. I think so. Because he understands it. And he'd probably but expl- I think he'd he would explain have been able it. He'd to exp- defend it a little better. He'd explain it b- better than me, yeah. Yeah, but your your skill comes from wrestling. Exactly. You're changing You're changing what the skill is, is grading, though. No. Cause he might agree with you on the wrestling point. I don't know if he'd agree with you on the media or whatever you're consuming, like whatever else you're consuming. I think you would. I do feel like it is different. Because I could see how a wrestling match could be like a seven out of five. It's like, wow, that was spectacular. Like that was pinpoint. But I don't think that works for movies. Did you watch these matches live when they happened? I mean, I watched them. These matches. On delay? Nah, these matches, man, they just take place. They happen in Japan. See, when you have a match in Japan, specifically in the Tokyo Dome, you just go up in stars automatically because it's the Tokyo Dome. It's it's uh people say WrestleMania is the greatest event in in, in wrestling. It's not. The to- it's Wrestle oh, Kingdom. Wait. Wrestle Kingdom um, in Tokyo Dome is the greatest the event guy in, in, in from WWE. What's his name? John the, Cena? The oh, studio. Rip Vince. Vince. He stepped down. He That's stepped news, down, right? but he really didn't step down. He's still in control of the company. It's a work. He's in, he's he should, it's Listen, I'm just trying I'm just trying to bring in news. No, 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 yeah, you're right. <laughs> So what happened here is that Vince, <laughs> the CEO of We're doing this? World Wrestling Entertainment, um, hired someone, an attractive lady, I'm assuming, and he had <laughs> consensual s- sexual relationships with her, and he and he ended up paying her more, a raise, and then eventually he ended up giving her some hush money, um, three million, and apparently the board found out about it, and now he's being. I don't want to say audited, but he's being checked for it. Get me? So he had to step down from his position as CEO, but he's still running the company in the sense that he still has creative control. But is, he's there... like, is he like George Bluth when he's in prison? He's like George Bluth in prison, yes. Um, there's, there, yeah, exactly. Um, he's huh. still running is there everything. any possibility that he will no longer be running everything? Uh, I mean, you could still get him. No. I mean, the only possibility that he doesn't have creative control is if he dies. <laughs> and I've accepted that. That, that guy's like 85 too, right? That guy's 85, but he's built, he's ripped, and he's never going to die. And unfortunately, that's just the detriment to, a, to WWE. That's why WWE sucks, because of Vince. He, so he doesn't. Just whatever he wants. So let's say let's say the board uncovers this entire thing and it's like, hey, this actually happened. He wouldn't like He wouldn't be say, removed. He would not be removed. I mean he stepped down as CEO. He is removed for now. And his wife, I mean I'm sorry, his daughter, Stephanie McMahon, took uh, took over. But uh you know, that's all just a it's all, it's all press, you get me trying to cover it up. He's really in control no matter what. Can she fire him? That's a good question. Can she, you know, plot a, a coup to get rid of him? Hopefully. Mutiny. Mutiny, yeah, but I don't know. And that is your two minutes in wrestling. And I think you guys are all caught up. Caught up with June, baby. <laughs> That's everything that happened in June? There's some other stuff that you mentioned that we were reading before, but I forgot. Must have not been that important. One of them was funny. One of them was funny. Yeah. Do you have a bit like from stand up that you would like to do right now? Like if you like if you had just like a real like someone gave you a mic. No, no, not at the moment. Man. All right, that's homework for you. That is homework. This was your chance. Do you, Dan? You know what? I used to. How does that? I work? don't know where that. What is. does that mean? I used to have it written down. On my phone. Oh, that man is pretty funny. I have to feel the room, I guess. I can't really. 
It's just it have to be in the mindset. It's just us. It's just us two. No, I have to be in the mindset. It's just you us got now. you caught me off guard. Now I have to think. Oh man, because I don't write this stuff down. You have to be ready, whenever. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no. Yeah, there's no. You have to be prepared. No. You can tell when you're gonna be in a room where you need to pull off some of these uh, jokes. Yeah, I, but you like prep. Yeah, I didn't no. think I'd have to prep for that. <laughs> no prep time. Yeah, no for prep this, time. yeah. Bat- Batman, no prep time. Batman, no prep time. Guys, we're getting see. We're get. We're apparently we're getting a Paddington three. No, it's called Paddington in Peru. Paddington in Peru. Okay, Paddington in Peru. P I P, baby. Now, as someone who recently watched Paddington two and is making, is doing everything in his power to to make it his personality trait. Let me tell you. This is good news for Link, and it should be good news for you because Paddington 2 was amazing. Paddington 1 was great, almost flawless. If, I, if there was a scale, if, there was, if it was a five-star scale, Paddington 2 it, Paddington is a six, and then Paddington 2 is a seven. Five wow. out of seven, seven out of five stars, right? You know what? Because it's Paddington, I'll allow it. It makes sense, right? Now they're making a Paddington in Peru. My boy is traveling across the continent. <laughs> hey, it's the summer. He's going. Yeah, I guess. He is taking a plane or a, or a boat. I'm not sure. And he's going over the Atlantic, going over some countries in South America. If he's flying, if he's taking a boat, then he's going to just take some turns. But he's going to Peru. And you know what he's going to do over there? He's going to make some marmalade, some marmalade sandwiches. With Aunt Lucy. And it's going to be fantastic. And you're going to love it. And you're going to be craving marmalade sandwiches afterwards. And you're going to cry. I guarantee you're going to cry. So take tissues for your eyes. Nothing else. Just for your eyes. I have not understood a word that Link just said. (laughs) Dude, I zoned out. I have no... Like, literally... I'm sorry. (laughs) It's okay. (laughs) Like... It was, I mean, it was it was kind of nice. It was that nice. like dozed off mentally. Listen, I think um, we've talked about everything that happened in June. I have a feeling that there's going to be a bunch of stuff that's going to come out right after we drop this episode. And um, oh, wait, wait, really quick. Uh, Justin Lin is making <laughs> a live action One Punch Man from Sony. What the- I don't know how I feel about that, <laughs> but I do trust Justin. You shouldn't feel. I do trust Justin Lin. Positive about it. I do trust anyway. Justin Lin. You get me? He he took a franchise like uh, Fast and the Furious and he turned it into something beautiful. Is that Strikers? I've been, I played Strikers. That's a lie. I played oh, video games. Oh. I played Strikers. Oh, that, I haven't. That happened. Dude, my, how is that? Mine. I haven't even opened my my box. Y'all are wild. I haven't bought it yet. The game's fun. It's like super short, and that's why I was reading that the AI is kind of. Dumb in the game, like the AI is dumb. Yeah, like they the your teammates, your when the ones you're not controlling make dumb decisions, and you're like, ah, oh, that kind of bummed me out. Yeah, but at, like all the goalkeepers are OD, like ridiculously great. I don't know. Anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> That's I'm good. That's silence, Dan. Uh, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, really quick, I think you should DM that girl either today or tomorrow, and then try to talk to that girl who you kind of messed it up with. I think I'm gonna shave my head and then just add, grow a beard <laughs> and act like a completely different person. Um, but yeah, we hope you have a fantastic uh, rest of your week, month, year. Life. Life. What is the meaning of it? The meaning of life is trying to figure out why the Dark Knight and the <laughs> Batman is a 9.8 and one of the other ones a 9.6. I just And once you figure that you out. Figure it out which is which. I'm trying to find, figure out which one's better. Because one of them has to be yeah. better. They can't be equally good. And if it's one of them is better, it's not by much. You get me? It's by a little bit. It's by a hair. Now, which is the one that's better? I, I don't know. That's the the mystery of life. Speaking about life, week to week, we search the mysteries. And 
Sometimes we may never find out. Wait, this is a monthly. I don't need to do a deep philosophical outro. No, we don't. Oh, okay, we're done. Love you guys. Bye.